Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and honored guests. Tonight, this is one of the most difficult speeches or anything in my life that I've ever done. Because all of my life, I have avoided doing what I'm going to have to do tonight. And that is step into the light. In my life, where I'm standing right now, I am in the wings of the stage. Over there is the light in the center of the stage. And I have avoided that light my entire life. And one of the reasons that I have avoided the light is because as a child I always thought that I was invisible. And it wasn't because I thought I was a superhero. It's because in my family there was no communication. There were no good nights, good mornings. My mother and father really never spoke to me that I could remember. They never even called out my name. I just kind of drifted in and out of the house and in and out of life and I convinced myself that I was invisible. As a matter of fact, I can remember the first time that I think my mother actually saw me and I was six years old. So I carried this cloak of invisibility with me throughout my life and I decided that I could never step into the light. But I always had the urge to speak. I knew I wanted to be a speaker. So I chose the second best thing that I could do to avoid stepping into that light. What I did is I became a workshop facilitator. And as a workshop facilitator, it is not the same thing as being a speaker. I was able to hide behind props. I became very good at doing PowerPoint, holding up flashcards, and I could do the most intricate workbooks you've ever seen so that it would keep your eyes on the workbook and not on me. When I think about a way of explaining the way I am and the way I'd like to be, I think about two comedians, and one is Gallagher. Gallagher is a master at misdirection, just like I've become a master of misdirection. When Gallagher comes on the stage, before he ever appears, he starts music to misdirect you from the fact that he's coming on stage. You hear da 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 and while that's going on, he rushes onto the stage with heavy bags, or he's pushing a table, he's laying out watermelons and fruit, and Gallagher is so good that by the middle of his presentation, you are thinking about you because he's got a sledgehammer and he's hitting the fruit and you're worried about being splashed with the fruit and you're wearing a raincoat or moving farther and farther back from the stage because you don't want to be hit with the fruit. Gallagher is a master. You will not find an in-depth interview with Gallagher because Gallagher is hiding, just like I've always hid. Now the person that I would like to be like, his name is George Carlin. I love George Carlin because he is the way I'd like to be. What George Carlin does is he steps out of the wings, he steps into that light wearing nothing but jeans and a shirt. He stands there for 45 minutes, holds you in the palm of his hand, tells you the most marvelous stories, and you remember everything that he said for days and you're still laughing days later. But that's George Carlin. I'm not there. <laughs> I'm back over here still with Gallagher. I don't want to be like this. I want to be George Carlin. So tonight I'm going to drop all of my props and do something that I should have done years ago. I'm going to step into the light. Five times I have stood on the doorsteps of Toastmasters and four of those times I ran away. And I ran away because I knew I would have to do what I'm doing right now. I would have to stand in the light. And one of my fears has always been that what if I stood in the light and they still can't see me? So I'm standing in the light right now. This is my first time honoring myself and my only question is 
Can you see me now? Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster.